38 million people. One constitution. One vote. One show. As a country, I wish we had a way of having a moral authority that would force men to feel ashamed when they <laughs> impregnate young girls or even impregnate women against their will. We are sitting on a time bomb. But we have prevaricated and circumlocuted so much on this matter. There is no sewer system at all. What are we going to do as Kisumu people? Four to five panelists filled unscripted questions from a studio audience of about a hundred people drawn from all over Kenya for 45 minutes of lively debate. There is money only for commissions and tribunals, but we are tired, surely. We need action. Uh. Even though the panelists never know the questions that they will face beforehand, the burden of proof lies with them nevertheless. Everybody here doesn't trust their courts and doesn't trust our police and doesn't trust our prosecutors and our judges. To me, a rapist is an animal. In fact, it has been said that if you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you're also right. Why haven't you come out strongly to condemn such an issue and yet you are planning to become the next president of Kenya? I think as the leadership of our country, we should be held as, um, as leaders with the utmost integrity. Owing to its national appeal and popularity, the show has won wide public approval and was voted the best talk show in Kenya during the Kalasha TV and Film Awards. And the winner is... Agenda Kenya. This is Agenda Kenya, beginning October 15th at 9.50 p.m. on NTV.